Welcome back third graders. I hope you guys had a great lunch and a great recess. We are going to dive right into literacy. We are not wasting any time today. All right, I want you guys to think about what is the same and what is different about each of these items. I'm holding a pen and I'm holding a pencil. I want you guys to turn to a partner and talk about ways that they are the same or similar. All right, come back to whole group. I want you guys to raise your hand and tell me what you guys talked about. How are they the same? Great, now I want you to turn to a different partner and talk about how they are different. Okay, now that you've had a chance to do that, come back to whole group and I want you to share with me again how they are different. Great. So you guys just used a very important reading skill called comparing and contrasting. This was looking at two or more different things and coming up with ways that they are the same and ways that they are different. This helps our brain make connections. So the purpose of this lesson is to be able to read or look at two things and, see, and use our skills to find things that are the same and things that are different, also known as comparing and contrasting. How many of you guys have heard of comparing and contrasting before? Perfect. So this is something that I use in my everyday life. And when I think of comparing and contrasting, the first thing that I think of is when I go to the grocery store and I'm trying to decide if I want to use Honeycrisp apples or Granny Smith apples. It's going to depend what I'm using them for. So Honeycrisp apples, they have a more sweeter and they're red. Granny Smith are normally green and they're more tart and sour, but they're both apples. So comparing and contrasting helps me understand when I'm learning new things. I can think about how what I have learned in the past is the same or different than what I'm learning right now. That is kind of called using background knowledge. So thinking about what I've done in the past that connects to what I'm doing right now. Okay, who can tell me what this is called? A Venn diagram, that's right. Does anybody know the purpose of it? So the purpose is to compare and contrast. So the center circle is when we compare. The outside circles are when we are contrasting. So the center is when we say how things are similar or the same. And these outside circles are going to be where we put things specific to this object. So the outside circle explains what we are comparing and contrasting. So this will be one specific object or one specific topic. And this will be what we're comparing that topic to. So now that we have compared and contrasted pens and pencils, I want us to fill out this diagram together a little bit. So who can tell me what I'm gonna write above this first big circle? Pens. All right, I'll write pens. Who wants to tell me what I'll write above this big circle? Pencils. So we are comparing and contrasting pens and pencils. What's gonna go in the middle here? stuff that's the same. All right, who wants to give me something that is specific for pens? They can't be erased. Good job. They don't need to be sharpened. Good work. All right, what about pencils? They can be erased. And they do need sharpened. That's right. All right, what about, how are they the same? They both write. Good work. Okay. So now I'm gonna split you guys up into two separate groups. So we're just gonna split the class in half. And I'm gonna give each group their own Venn diagram and you need to designate a writer. Who's gonna be your writer for your group? So you are going to use your iPads and I want you to research pens and pencils. How are the same? How are they the same? And how are they different? And I want you to fill out your Venn diagram. 
All right, now that we have finished this activity, I want everyone to put their heads down. No peeking, close your eyes, no looking around. And I wanna ask you, are you guys ready to do a compare and contrast activity on your own? If you feel super ready and super confident, give me a thumbs up. If you're like, mm, I could use some more examples, give me a sideways thumb. And if you're like, Miss Madison, I'm totally lost, give me a thumbs down. All right, it looks like majority of us are ready to move on. So I'm going to draw sticks and I'm going to put you guys in partners and I'm gonna have you guys read um, here comes, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have you read Winter is Here by Kevin Henkes and Then Comes Summer by Tom Brenner. Um, once you guys have read these with your partner, I want you guys to fill out your Venn diagram comparing winter, comparing and contrasting winter and summer. So if you have read your book and you filled out what you got from your books, then I want you guys to use your iPads and dig further. I want you guys to use your resources. Use Google, use other resources that were given on our iPads. All right, you guys did great on that activity. You guys worked so well. Um, I wanna remind you that comparing and contrasting is such a powerful, powerful tool for readers because it helps our brain make connections between two pieces of information. It helps us understand and remember information better, which makes us better readers. So I want you guys to say it with me. I can compare and contrast two different things. Great work today, guys. Um, I'm going to give us a class point because you guys did phenomenal. You got straight to work. I am so proud of you guys today.